Sweet. 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 Excelsior! Hey, that's called character branding, true believers. I invented it. <laughs> um, is that really? I said I invented it. Look sharp, team. Remember, my X-Men, use extreme caution. This is your most dangerous mission yet. Right, Professor. Oh, is it okay if I delete real-world road rules challenge off the TiVo? Because it's been a... Wow. I'm going to need some new students. Welcome, recruits. Though we've had to lower our standards thanks to a shortage of actual mutants, the dangers you'll face are no less real. You'll be defending a world that hates and fears you. What? Hate and fear us because we're mutants? No, because you were in the Police Academy movies. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this chair? And it seems we're missing one recruit. Mahoney! This is the danger room, the ultimate training facility. You never know what you might face. Killer death rays, flying buzz saws, inflatable alpha pop bags. Let's begin. Hello, my robot brother. I'm Lardell Jones. Destroy all humanoids. You're an X-Man! Act like one! Who wants a piece of me, dirtbags? For heaven's sake, get that body to the morgue! Move it, move it, move it! Hightower, we haven't got all day. Well, that's horrifying. Recruits, these battle outfits are stylish, temperature controlled, and best of all, bulletproof. Awesome! Dagobert, no! Of course, they can only protect the parts of you they actually cover. <laughs> Stupid chair. I... Hey. You! It's been you all along! Huh? Try making your cute sound effects with a telepathically erased brain! <laughs> ha! Uh oh. Welcome, new graduates of Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. He's in for a surprise. As X Men, you now carry the great responsibility of. <sighs> Some mischief maker has gone to great lengths to hide a prostitute under my podium. Unfortunately, I'm paralyzed from the waist down, and her enthusiastic efforts are quite for naught. As I was saying, the X Men. I didn't say stop. Look sharp, team. Remember, my X Men, use extreme caution. Same time next week? Now, fantastic fools, you shall feel the wrath of doom. Jeez, doom, why the heck are you so grouchy all the time? Yes, the finishing touch. Now, the world will tremble when they look upon Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom, wait, the mask is not... Ah! Sweet Lord in heaven! Oh, wait, the mask is upside down. Hold still, Dr. Doom. Ah! Okay, once more with feeling. Oh, you sons of... Let us not delay. Yes, the cod piece remains. What did you, did you say cod piece? <laughs> Clark out, guys. Oh, the cod piece is upside down. What did you say? <laughs> Sorry about your dick, dude. Aww. Oh, Mom and Dad couldn't afford our Christmas presents because the price of gas is so high. But I've been extra good. I swear I'm gonna f*** next year. Did somebody say energy crisis? Not, Not in those, those exact, exact words, words Captain, Captain America. America. The high cost of energy is crippling America, kids. But what, what can, can we, we do? do? We can lick this problem if we all do our part, together. Turn the dial down to 68 degrees and we'll use less heating oil. We're do that? My feet get cold! Oh, uh, okay, next tip. Electronics still use energy even when turned off. Make sure to unplug them. That sounds exhausting! Yes! Uh, clothes dryers are 20% of a home's energy bill. Dry your laundry outdoors and save power. I'd never wait that long. Nobody's gonna do that! Well, fine. F*** you, then. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't afford gifts this year, kids. That's okay. 
It's enough that you don't force us to live like a bunch of broke-ass hippies. Aww. <laughs> My feet are f***ing freezing. Oh, damn it! You know, it's not like purple pants grow on trees. There's only one Dillard's that carries these, and it's all the way downtown, and now I have to go! My spider sense is tingling, but why? Is it the green goblin? <laughs> the lizard? Aunt May having another stroke? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. <laughs> Ow! The milk went bad. Um, thanks, spider sense? Uh oh, spider sense tingling! <laughs> Kids! You tingled me over a puddle? Face it, Tiger. You're gonna get laid. Yes! After tonight, the vulture can't call me a virgin ever again! No, no, shoot, shoot, come on, let another part of me tingle for once. Uh oh. <laughs> oh! Specific. Of course I'm in danger. I'm hundreds of feet above Manhattan. <laughs> Whatever. Well, Mr. Parker, it looks like you broke your ankle. Also, x-rays show a tumor at the base of your skull that is, for lack of a better word, tingling. Remove it. Remove it now. Time of death, 3.47 p.m. We now return to the Hollywood spotlight of the Incredible Hulk. We followed the life of the Hulk as he's grown up with his abusive father, his early career, and awkward emergence into puberty. It was during his teenage years as a stunt double on the ill-fated primetime pilot Gumbo that he met the man who changed his life, Bill Bixby. The two were surprised to find that they looked exactly alike. They decided to make a show together, and CBS agreed. Look at him walk! Genius! <laughs> Yeah, the Hulk wasn't too bad either. We had him show up twice each episode to beat up the bad guys. A punch here, a growl there. He was a millionaire. <laughs> the guy's agent was amazing. Times were finally good for the Hulk. Flush with green, he fed a sudden appetite for booze, babes, and blow. <laughs> but these high times wouldn't last for long. Audiences stopped liking Hulk, even when he was angry. With the show canceled, the Hulk did what every other failed celebrity did in the mid-1980s. He whored himself. Things found in the car, places to eat, things in the hat, kinds of keys, famous actors, kinds of rocks, ways to cook an egg, names for the Bible! Taking any bit part he could, Hulk's acting career plummeted, and eventually he sold his name to Hulk Hogan, real name Chesterfield Evan Purple. Sad news from the entertainment world today. The father of the Incredible Hulk lost his long battle with gamma radiation poisoning at the age of 74. The one-time successful TV star has gone into seclusion to mourn his loss in private. Hulk's career appeared to be over. Years later, hope would come from China. Ang Lee, a relatively unknown Chinaman filmmaker, would surprise the world with his opus, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The Hulk was living off his meager residuals when Lee sought him out, and he recognized the director as a natural choice to tell his complex tale of anger and destruction. Hulk movie very clear to me. Comic book meet slow, beautiful haiku. Pretty bird, oh pretty bird, how Hulk sings so high. Sounds fascinating. It surely will not be a huge flop that ruined my career. Surely. For one last time, the Hulk was back in the spotlight, adored and admired. Hollywood was green with envy for the success coming his way. But Hollywood loves you for only so long. It stinks. Audiences agree that Ang Lee's motion picture is one gamma strength bomb. Is this the end of the Hulk's career? This entertainment reporter says yes. Hollywood make Hulk sad. Hulk spent time in Asia to find self. Met Suk Lee. And now finally trying to be happy. Soon after returning to America, Hulk accepted Jesus Christ and now counsels inner city children with anger management troubles. Hulk lived day by day, not angry anymore. Is Hulk happy? <laughs> Hulk did so. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm here to talk to you about the Avengers Initiative. In my house? In the middle of the night? And who the hell are you? Wrong story!
stupid? <laughs> Dude, working for the Mandarin sure is sweet. Well, I tell chicks I work for Dr. Doom. <laughs> How are they gonna know? Oh, great. Here comes Iron Man. What do you think? Should we sound the alarm here? Ah, uh, it's still a ways off. Oh, man. Did you see the game last night? Oh, yeah. F***ing Nick. I tell you, this headquarters was a great vibe. Yeah. All we have to do is pull up the Berber carpeting and we can hear Iron Man coming a mile away. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, he's in the air truck. That's a new one. We tell the Mandarin. What? I said, should we tell the Mandarin? Darren! Oh, oh my God! You're oh on top of my God! Oh, get off of me! Get dog! <laughs> Please, get up! I can't! I can't get up! You're crushing us! Hang on! I'll use my rocket boots! No! Oh. Hey! <laughs> What's up? You've been here for an hour! You go now! I'm Iron Man! Ignite rocket boots! Repulsor rays go! Give it to Ha ha! I'm Iron Man! Holy crap! It's Iron Man for real! Hey, Iron Man! Iron Man! Iron Man! Look at me! I'm Iron Man too! What the? Works for Hulk! Oh! 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 Mommy! Uh, uh, Iron Man! Well, it works for Giant Man. Oh, I'm Iron Man. Yay, Iron Man! Nice job, Avengers! Hey, what happened to that little kid? Kid? Look on the bright side. Now he's a real Iron Man. <laughs> Get it? Iron Man. He's made of iron. Uh, what? What? Too soon, Tony. Too soon. <laughs> You're going to have to go get that for me. Why, have you ever thought about using it? I'm not getting a f***ing boomerang, so just drop it. Hey, what's up?